This is what I'm so excited about. This right here is gonna be worth your trip to Miami, Oklahoma. Hey Josh, how you doing sir? Good to see you. Good buddy, welcome to Noel. You're in for a treat today. I got an awesome coach to show you. This is coach 1749. Custom built, it's probably the coolest ceiling Newell coach has ever done. And what's even cooler about it is, the customer actually helped us design it. This is a Ryan Louse paint scheme, and this is actually number 22. You can see we do have the push button bay doors here. Pop right through there. And this is what I love about it. Look at that nice stainless steel with our six lifeline 12 volt batteries. See how that's gonna hit right there? We'll put little bumpers right there for you. Yes, sir. Just a little attention to detail. Another little thing we do. This, of course, is a great pass through storage on our mid entry. Now, I don't know if we've ever really hit much on our mid entry storage here. It does shrink up a little bit because where the door is, but we do have two pass through storages here, actually three. But the first two have the electronic joy bed. This right here, you just hit this down right here. Oh, a manual tray, I like A little that. manual tray and it goes all the way through. This is great for like golf club stores and things like that. Maybe dog food and things for your pet. A lot of people use that for the mid entry cause it's right there by the main door. And it does slide all the way through the same distance out on the right side and the left side of the coach. Very cool. So you just now how, lift that up. How far out will that extend? Wow. That right here is the 30 inch in depth slot. So you kind of see it goes about another 30 inches. That's 60, it's about five feet technically from the coach. We have about an 18 inch door. It would be out longer, but we do do our famous dual bifold doors. It's on all mid entries right here. Some people may want the uh, bay door electric, but it does take up a little bit more room. So this is to maximize space. And that's what we're all about here is maximizing space. So it's gonna slide that back in. So, so the manual trays take up a little less space than the electric yes, trays? It does. They're not. They're a little bit uh, skinnier, and it's just on a little bit different of a rail system. Because that other one has a sprocket underneath, and that's how it goes through a chain, through a gearing system. And so, therefore, the rails are a little bit different, and they're a little bit wider, so it makes the drawer a little bit skinnier. Still push button right here. And we do have our normal exterior 55-inch uh, ULED TV right here. See, just take that right off. Now, you've got this TV out here, but, but I see something else. Yes, yes. What's, uh, uh, what's going Now, we do have the lights on in here and it is bright outside, but we can still see this exterior. This right here, uh, I don't know if y'all remember our last year Tampa Show Coach, Coach 1715, we had a projector in there and we realized it could go to the exterior. Once again, we've kind of taken another step up with our newer projector is, you can also see the reverse side on the outside while watching this uh, same thing on the inside, reverse. So it's, it's like a back-to-back -back screen almost. And the only thing that's a little bit backwards out here, you will see the lettering be a little bit backwards. But other than that, you can all be watching the movie in here, inside and outside, and everybody gets the same picture. It's the full window, so um, and the picture's amazing. And we do also, we don't have it out here, Andrew, but we do have two Bluetooth uh, wireless speakers right here that connect to Bluetooth, and so you can have your own surround sound. Nice. And you also can hook it up to your Yamaha soundbar right underneath here. And I also have your TV there. So if you're watching a ball game or something like that, it's pretty cool. You can have a little outside party with your nice carefree awning coming out 12 feet and angle down. So if it's raining outside, the water was drip off and our nice lighting around, you can be able to watch a great show and entertain a lot of people and have just a good time. I did hit on a couple different things about our storage. But before I move into that is you see right here, this coach is a customer's coach. And so what I mean by that is the customer designed and built it. Um, That's why I want to refer to when we talk about the ceiling. They've not taken delivery yet, and so this coach is not delivery ready. The day the customer comes here, we will pull this off and you'll have your nice stainless steel right here, just so it's fresh for the customer. Yeah. Um, stainless steel, show a little bit of fingerprints and things like that as we're detailing. So we want to protect that as much as possible. Yes, sir. Uh, you kind of look right through here, you'll see a nice oh. little cook area right here. Yeah, this has got an exterior kitchen yeah. here. Let's uh, let's pull this on out right here. Once again, we have an A, B side. This is B side right here. So I'm just gonna hit B out right here. This is a really cool, this is what, what's what I call a full outside exterior kitchen because it has a refrigerator and grill. 
Yeah. So they really did a great job um, with this right here. And they also have uh, a little bit of storage extensions. They haven't done that yet. They're gonna have some extensions come through here that will lift up and this will help support that out. So they have some exterior table. They're still working on that. It's like I said, this coach is still in production and it'll also have a little flip outside right here too. Yeah. So it'll have plenty of storage on the outside. And if you look right here, I don't know if you saw it, we do have our 110 outlet right there. I like it. So if you might want to plug in an air fryer or something like that, he can cook out here as well. And he has plenty of room for this area right here, right above his nice little dormitory type refrigerator over there. We were even able, because of our electric grill, get good storage right through yeah, here to come all the way out for cool. Space. And is this all real carbon fiber yeah. that this is all finished out? Mm -hmm. We have to finish out like that because carbon fiber just holds strength and longer. Yes, sir. Lighter material, like so material you could longer. you could pull out pull out your outdoor kitchen, keep the cold beverages coming, put a little food on the grill, and watch a little RVing with Andrew Steele on YouTube. And there is a little bit of glare from the big windows, but at nighttime, crystal clear picture. I thought it was off of Phil. No, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Phil's my buddy. We love Phil. <laughs> yeah, there's our buddy Phil Cornelius. Phil Cornelius up there, there watching me's great. Um, this right here, also, I don't know if I was able to capture this right here. Now, you remember how I said we have a B side, which comes out on this side right here. We also have an A side, so it will come out on the driver's side the same distance. And that's very important because if you look right back there, you see that gray box just full of extra things, extra belts, hoses, and stuff like that you may need. And you have a little bit more storage. So our exterior storage, this is a full kitchen that only took up half of a storage bay. That's really key because that just shows you we're able to compact everything, get the customer needs, also allow them to have maximized storage exterior. The mid-entry does take up a little bit of exterior base storage, so it was very important that we did the kitchen like that, so that way the customer can uh, carry all their goods. Yeah, and one other thing I'm noticing is the reflection of the light off of that carbon oh. fiber. So you've got a light mounted up there we've never talked about that before actually when you open up one of our bay doors any of our bay doors and including the engine door a led light strip will automatically come on and it's really key at night because at night when you're digging through or on the other side when we're going through the electrical bay with the new n1 system the light shines right in there it's a perfect angle when you can just get to anything you usually have a belt rail light right there and also some exterior uh, lighting underneath so it's really easy to see stuff at night a lot of people might pull into a campground at night and stuff like that need to pull some stuff out that's very key this once again led light strips a huge game changer for the rv industry yeah it really looks good and while we're talking here i gotta take a step back and we are inside the building but i love the colors of this paint scheme and there's a lot of cool stencil work coming in again a ryan laux design but you see all the cool Look patterns at the drop shadow you see how that drop shadow goes from a half inch three quarters up through there and it consistently goes through on the slide yeah i know that so tim and his guys at the paint shop they're just amazing you could see like this stripe right here it's almost like a navy blue mm -hmm. and then it, as it comes down and you see all those drop shadows and then it, it continues into more of like a, a brighter almost like an and ocean then it blue back to the dark blue yeah look at that back into navy there just incredible and these cameras don't do justice like the human eye does you but see that blue fade a little bit better right through here at this moment right here as we're going from that you know navy blue all the way right there you see at the front yes sir off that black line they kind of continue right through here through the slide and you kind of see how that blue all fade in back through there yeah incredible paint scheme the owners did a fabulous job at uh choosing this coach and and actually the owners of this coach are personal friends of mine yes, that uh, a couple years ago they were digging around at ideas at what coach to get and i let them know you might as well custom design it with their background they custom designed it and they did their research they did a great job the exterior is amazing that paint fades amazing all that stuff's amazing What's gonna blow you away is this was their first coach design. Wait till you see the interior. Yeah, well, should we should we go around the rest of the coach? I want to see inside, oh, but let let's let's let's, uh, let's keep cruising okay, around. Yeah, I, I know I'm excited. I'm excited too. I love the newer front end. How the paint scheme continues. Some of the older newels we saw kind of an all black front end, but now they've started to bring the paint designs into the front of the coach as well. Where if we get a close up 
we see those bright white pins and the drop shadows and the different colors just all coming together so well and this is that newer updated front end for 2022 but this is a 2023 this coach. This is a 2023, you are correct. We started doing this in 2022 and it had much success with it. So we continued it on to 2023 and it's gonna probably be a staple because people really love it. What kind of a generator is in this? Oh, do you wanna go over the generator, baby, real just, quick? Just, just I was real, thinking about yeah. something. You know what, we never really talk much about our generator. Um, we have, we do use a 20 kW Martin generator. They're made out of Ohio, um, American made built and uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to show you about it you see our nice little compartment right here this is underneath the driver's seat those are your two air compressors right there for house air uh when the coach is parked once again i just hit the generator uh bay door right here and we're going to open it up a couple neat facts about our generator martin generators they do a lot with uh, refrigerator trucks refrigerator trucks can never go out because we do this and cost a lot of money so they're very reliable they do a lot with the trucking industry and we put them in our motorhomes They've been great. We've been using them for years. But one of the neat things we do, we put it in a hush box. So if you look right here, this right here is where the actual cooling system for the uh, generator is. Okay, this is just the cooling this system, is just the cooling system for, for the, the generator. generator. For the generator. So we have it in this nice, quiet hush box. Um, we put underneath it too, we enclose it in underneath. And what that does is it's going to stop noise. And then we also put it on airbags, so therefore you don't feel the vibration. So it's not bolted in the steel to the actual chassis of the coach. So what I mean by, you will notice the difference here. What I'm gonna do here, Andrew, is I'm gonna start this uh, generator up right here. Yeah. Okay, you notice the airbags right here. Yes, sir. All right, we have it set to 18 to 20 PSI. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fire it up. When I fire it up, you're gonna see the generator move back and forth. But watch this, this will barely even move. difference you notice the coach never really moved yeah just that yeah. right there so those airbags do absorb a lot of energy and here's a look at that fire suppression system in the generator bay another cool little fact is this uh, coach does have a pressure washer so this right here is the front pressure washer port you have one in the back and one in the front I don't think we've ever even hit on the generator much but our generators are 20 kW and an interesting fact is uh, if you have everything maxed out on this coach you're gonna be at 18,000 watts. So we do have a 2,000 watt overkill. We do have, because a lot of people like to have stacker trailers, some other things that might wanna to power to the coach. So therefore we do have a buddy plug back here in the back. And remember uh, earlier in the video, we had showed you the, um, the full kitchen and I mentioned a little bit about the backside. Now when you buy a new coach, we uh, send you with a lot of gifts, a lot of goods. Um, that you will need. And this right here is actually the checklist of all those goods. Okay. And this is what's all in there from a buddy plug to uh, 50 to 30 amp extra filters, belts, hoses, and all that. So this is your good little goodie box, half the camper kit. This is just the weight for the um, sewer drain. Yeah. We'll get you some extra depth and a few things like that. But the key is why I'm pointing all this out is we got a lot of stuff you need here and it's able to fit in this storage bay with the full kitchen. And uh, that's something we're really proud of that uh, took a lot of our engineers and our cabinet makers a lot of time. Uh, it was like a big puzzle. That's what this is. <laughs> so yes, that's, just a, that's just another puzzle they figured out. Let me go on and roll that back in. You kind of see how they roll in with how we keep all yeah, our wires and everything that. from not creeping in. It's on a roller. And that's much like what's on our slides, Andrew, on top of our slides with sure. our electricals. That's what we use a lot right there. Once again, hang your Velcro up right there. Nice, well lit. This right here is just a uh, pass-through storage. We're gonna hit on this. Mid-entry pass-through storage, once again, so it's gonna be a little bit skinnier. This right here is our DI Dives water um, filtration system. So therefore, we do have that pressure washer. I talked about the port up front. We have one in the back, and we'll see the pressure washer over there. I talked about, you kind of see what I talked about, a little bit of the width thing right there when yeah. I was talking earlier. So let's go ahead and pull this side. Once again, we're side A. I wanna point something out real quick. This is a commercial grade power washer hose and industrial one. Josh, you wanna hold that for a second and just show everybody? 
I mean, ladies and gentlemen, this is not your Home Depot <laughs> power washer. Oh, and it looks like a little water dripped out like this. Do they, now, do they test these systems? Yes, they test the systems out. Everything's tested out here. Yeah. So um, we ran through everything. So yeah, they've had to, they've turned it looks, on. Looks like a brand new gun, but I can oh, tell yeah. a little bit of water's a ran through there. And through. that's the, uh, that's, that's the big dog uh, in the power washing barrel. business. Yes, sir. Yeah, double <laughs> barrel. Yes, sir. And then this is that same high-end hose. Yeah. Much higher quality, much more industrial. It's gonna last long, a lot longer than those cheap power washer hoses you're gonna get at like a Home Depot. This is a little bit on the uh, N1 system. Just pull this out right here, and this is pretty cool. Once again, you just pick that up so you'd have a nice little storage tray. You can see those little inch blocks on the bottom. Yeah. That helps keep it nice Let's and secure. Let's just go right in there. Now, right here. I, you wanna be my cameraman. I always Let's like go. to show this off. So if a technician needs to get in here, you can just, slide in on this tray and i'm probably north of 200 i've been eating real good lately say honey been feeding you oh she has <laughs> i got my my fitbit watch on though to try to keep up but so a technician can slide back in here you can get to all of this stuff very easy very comfortable and then as i slide out here that same led light all right josh i always like just climbing inside hey, of that baby. Hey, I don't blame you. Another thing I just found out too is I learned something new every day. I've been here for five five years. I'm still learning. Uh, you see this clear tube right here? Yes, sir. It's that drain pan. Yeah. Now you watch on a lot of our videos um, how our floors go up and down. Yes, sir. Okay, so you have a little gap there. So a lot of people might say, what happens if you spill a bottle of wine or something might fall out or may fall off? Accidents do happen. What happens is None of that stuff will drain down into your electrical bay or anything. It actually collects on a drain pan and it will drip right out nice through this little tube wow. right here. Wow. Very cool how that's all so thought this, out. I don't know if we've ever pointed that out, but we do get asked a lot of questions about that. So I'm going to make sure we cover that yes, right sir. there. Once again, now, this right here, we've already talked about this. This right here was the pass-through storage. We went on the other side and we started the video. Yes, sir. And then this is our camera. Once again, we do have a camera when you pull up to the um, gas uh, pump. So you know right where you're at. This is our 200-gallon uh, fuel tank and our 15-gallon DEF tank. You can go a lot of miles on that 200-gallon fuel. And it's you could fill up on both sides as well? You can fill up on both sides. It is one tank. A lot of people have asked if it's two tanks. You have to switch them. No, we have one tank, 200 gallons. So uh, another cool little feature as we're walking back through here is when we have coaches in storage a lot or we're getting coaches ready, our coaches, we can run shop air into the coach. You can also run the air out of the coach. What this is is just... Um, if you have it parked in storage, you can plug air into it, so therefore your house air compressors don't have to run. Oh, very cool. So that cool. way, you know, your slides stay sealed up and all that stuff. And it's just so you don't wear your compressors out in storage. That's all it is. Now, if you need to run air tools inside of the coach, is there a spigot yes, inside of it? Yes, we do have a shop air in, and we also have shop air out right on this other side right here. Um, so technicians don't need to drag hoses through drag the coach. Hoses and all that stuff. They can still so, have air. That is a lot of value into that. Now, this has got the Cummins X15. X15, 605, she's a beast. 1,950 pounds of torque. Allison 4000 transmission with the X15, 605 horsepower Cummins. It's just a great combination. We also have our 500 amp alternator here, so we can run inverted air. Um, we can run an AC going down the uh, road. Look at the size of that cooling yes, fan cooling there. And that's a hydraulic cooling system. Yes, that, sir. Uh, we've been using for uh, many years now. Um, and it's got your uh, turbo cooler in there, your engine cooler, and your transmission cooler all in one. So it's a triple stack, they call it. Once again, this right here is our hose. Holds up to 150 PSI. So it can fill up any air um, in any of your tires. And it does go out 60 feet, so it can off uh, six of your tire points. Love how this is all finished out. They you talking about detail? This right here is the back pressure washer thing. Look at that right there. Got a little Newell logo right oh, there. Oh, I Check love that out. it. Is this gonna be for like a trailer or a tow trailer, vehicle? tow vehicle, and then you have your seven way right there. This is a class five plus hitch, which is a 25,000 pounds. You guys are the leaders as far as yeah. towing a stacker trailer. You can tow a stacker, and that's one reason, that's another reason going back to, we're allowed to do that, so we gotta be able to accommodate you. That's why one reason we have that 2,000 watt overkill on the generator, so you can buddy plug your trailer and all that stuff in while sitting still. So just another thing, so if you wanna offer it, you gotta give them all the goods. Yeah, you got the largest power plant in the Class A industry, most towing capacity in the Class A industry, but the inside of this coach is, is what it's all about. Huh? This inside of this coach is so impressive. 
You want me to hit the pressure uh, washer? Yeah, let's hit the pressure okay. washer real As quick. As we're rounding so. around the corner here, you had asked me a little bit about shop air out. Yes, sir. So let me show you where you do that right here. Uh, as you can see, as we go right through here, we'll uh, see if you come right here, you see that little right there? That little, that's your shop air out right down through there. Nice. And that is an additional battery charger that will allow you to plug your coach into 110 when it's in storage. Too. Yeah, there's more of that industrial style power washer yeah. hose that we saw. This is gonna be an electric power washer, so it's gonna be nice and quiet when it's running. And then uh, these batteries have the Power Plus battery maintenance power system. Pulse. Helps your batteries last a lot longer. All right, Andrew, this is what I'm so excited about. This right here is gonna be worth your trip to Miami, Oklahoma. This interior is absolutely gorgeous. If you come through mid-entry, I will push the button down, the door will drop, come open, our steps will come out. Also on a mid-entry, before we go in, we have a nice screen door right here. That's a feature for all of our mid-entry coaches. Now, the front entry coaches do not have that they door. They do not have that. We can't because the front cap actually bends down when you come over on the front entry, so your door kind of comes over like that, so it don't go, allow it to be straight up and down to have that in. So that's only a feature we have on our mid-entries. They did a lot of great things. As we're coming to the entryway, we do have real hardwood floors here. They look really nice. But if you look right here, kind of rub your hand through there. It's a really nice 3D type tile entryway in. It really lights up really nice into the coach. But as you can see, just step on in there and check this coach out. carbon fiber grab handle as you go into the coach and this coach has a feeling kind of like a spa in there good relaxing feeling in there if it's ceiling and everything it's just an amazing build one of our best interior coaches i think we've done i agree so we've got the lights kind of dimmed down right now to show the vibe but can we fire up some of the lighting in here yeah, just to show everyone? So you come in on in here. This is right here is a mid-entry coach, obviously. Um, much like Coach 1738 with this dinette, what they want to do is maximize the space right here. So what they did was a half booth with the freestanding dinette right here. What that allowed was really maximize space. They really wanted like almost like a residential recliner feel here. These right here can all spin around. You have plenty of room to do that. And they have a dual setting right here, right across from their 74 inch um, sofa right here, how to bed sofa. So they really would have grabbed a lot um, through here. Once again, we did talk about the projection TV and that's the screen for the projection TV right there. We can just lift that up right there. So you can have the same, the, the same movie playing on the inside and the outside of the coach at the same you time? You can have it put on the inside and outside of the coach. What's cool is, is that get to that picture on the outside, we have to reverse the picture. So you can have the reverse picture on the outside, but still watch it with the normal picture right here. So it's almost just like two different screens back to back. It's pretty cool if you really think about it because to be watching it from there, you gotta be watching at a different screen, reverse screen. Inside, you gotta watch it normal screen, but they can be playing both movies at the same time and you won't even notice. So like I said earlier, I don't think the difference is the writing's backwards outside. We really did some unique stuff right here. Um, we put the passenger GPS right up here. You can take that off Oh, I right like there. That. Um, we're going to do something really unique with this. If you can kind of get your camera down through there, you'll see like an Ethernet cable and some computer connections right through there. She does a lot of laptop work and a lot of work on the road. They're going to use this as a mobile office as well. So we're going to do a little laptop desk area right there. It's still in production. We haven't completed it yet. But also we have those connections down there that is, we can use this as a monitor as well. So this right here, she's got a 49-inch uh, monitor right there. But we also continued that back there with this 32 inch TV back here. Underneath the dinette, we have the connections which you can use that as a monitor too. So that can be hooked right to your computer and boom. Hooked right to your computer, doom, boom, and she does a lot of Zoom calls and stuff like that. So that right there will be very beneficial. Once again, mobile office on the road, you can conquer a lot in a null. Almost like a modern yeah. farmhouse. I'm trying to. Uh, oh, it's got the. You nailed it earlier. I think you said it had a spa feel to yeah. it. It's got a nice, relaxing feel. They got the fabric right here. And almost like a stainless steel looking um, window uh, cover right there, right there with the valence. And it just looks really, really well. 
Another cool thing we did with this coach right here, if you look at these valences right here, they're straight and angled out so you have a nice LED light strip and it really brings the color out. Yeah. And I think when we first walked into coach, you wanted to have the lights dim down like that to kind of show that and it really highlighted the coach and it really highlights the ceiling as well that we did with the little LED light strips up there. And I think it does give you a nice spa relaxing feel. I think um, when so. When you walk into this coach. I think that's why um, I just love it so much. And if you look right here, we even did a couple other neat things. We have an ice maker right here. Uh, normally we put our, that's our trash can drawer, but they would like to have an ice maker. We did that. And then we still have our great storage up through here with the suicide doors right here. So you can get nice wide Tupperware and things up there and actually lock in really nice. And if you notice that LED light strip, once again, comes on like it does on our exteriors. Yes, sir. Um, have a nice squared off sink here. Uh, once again, they took the backsplash from the entry step area right here. And you just kind of get that nice feel through there. Look, you do have a lot of 110 outlets in up here. Oh, yeah, look. and this is something I like to see. Now, this is for cleaning dishes? Cleaning dishes. If you look back on Coach 1738, featured in there, the Moody Coach. Oh, yeah. I just push that button with that for is cleaning dishes and you don't, well, what it is is you don't use as much water, but you also have this right here oh, too. Nice. So that does come out and then you have an Insta hot, but also a cold water as well. Nice. Right there. And we do have garbage disposals on all of our newels, along with our Wolf induction cooktops. A couple of neat things we have here is we have, since we don't have the uh, trash can storage right here, we did put the trash can right there and you still have plenty of room for that. Still, let me knock three times. Boom, boom, boom. Here we go. That's our Fisher Panko dishwasher. And you can still see the water. You can tell they were testing yeah, that we, before delivery. A lot now, of testing. A lot now, of testing. Right now, this coach is what, the last week or two before delivery? Uh, or? They'll be taking delivery um, uh, in a, a bit less than a week. We've got about four days uh, left on it. And what we're doing right now, we're just doing final touches. They're going to need to stall that uh, table up front. And we just got, got out of cut and buff actually. So they're doing some final detail on the exterior. And then we're gonna come out Wednesday and have an executive review on this coach. Where all our people from the front and service will come in here, walk on it and the purpose of that is more eyes on the coach. Go through and do that punch list Thursday and Friday and do final touch up and be ready for the customer. This is our silverware drawer. And then this is our, I'm really impressed. It's still carrying from 1706. Coach 1706, we've started this. And this is the uh, little Pins you can drop in there so you can carry nice china and stuff like that. Yeah, when like going down the road. Yeah, pegboard, pegboard and they will yeah. set that uh, for the 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 new owners will be able to let them know exactly how they want all their dishes set in there, what they want dishes they want, how they want it set up, and all that stuff. Now, this is some other cool features they have is uh, you see we have our nice adjustable shelves here, really deep. But if you kind of look right back through here. I've never seen that. that. Little, little outlet little in outlet the right drawer there. there. So they could put maybe a crock pot, a toaster, or something like that without having to take up any room right here. Once again, just really, really thought it really locks in there. It's got a self-closing drawer. So that locks oh. in. So it's really locked through there. Then we have a nice latch right through there. And once again, light does come on when you open up the door. And once again, this is something else different. This is not our normal um G monogram refrigerator. This right here is uh, our Fisher Pankle. This is a more of a um, French door refrigerator. Yeah. A lot of different adjustments with the bigger freezer right through here. Oh, look at that. And then you have nice doors right here. So this right here, I think is 24 cubic feet. Wow. Uh, it's a really, really big refrigerator and you have nice drawers. So about as residential as you can come. If you look right through here, we have our two 20 pound latches right there. So you can put a lot of weight here in the door without it coming open and if you look underneath there on the uh freezer drawer as well really load these things up with really nice big hinges really relaxing and just almost like very industrial yeah and with a mid-entry coach very convenient if you're outside enjoying the the nice weather you can come in grab something out of your refrigerator if you run out of beverages in your outside refrigerator then you also have your half bath if you have a guest that needs to use the bathroom here and you're not walking all the way through and you have a really good size half bath and really capture if you look right through here at this door right through here you see how we curve the door oh yeah right through there we have a nice hinge system so it can open up 180 degrees all the way through and then when you close that door those hinges are hidden both from the inside right. and the outside and i love just the the craftsmanship here to be able to make that curved wood not only is the door curved but this entire panel here 
just incredible but let's take a peek inside of this half bathroom i love this is kind of like that spa design that it reminds me of and then there's an agate countertop now is this an underlit agate countertop here in the half bathroom so. you would go in the half bath and you underlit countertop oh look at that <laughs> Easy, and let's easy. do counter reveal and cabinet. So you have a nice lighting and this also has the bidet and a beautiful finish up the sidewall here. Stunning half bathroom as as always. And what's really amazing about that half bath, that's a good size half bath right there. And when you go in here, you're going to notice that this bedroom is a little bit smaller than a lot of uh, normal normal bedrooms. It's only an eight foot, eight inch long slide on both sides, but we're able to put a 72 inch wide bed by 80 inch bed. Therefore you have a true full king size bed in a smaller bedroom setting, which is really maximizing space. But we're also able to give ample storage space with the projector right here. Now, when you have the projector up there, that's gonna take up a lot of space with the projector the, re uh, the receiver and all the satellite dishes, all the satellite receivers and stuff. Now, is this projector, does it go outside as if well? If you want this one to go outside, it can reverse as well. Nice. It does. You see this right here, this, every Newell coach comes with a long set of custom sheets here at Newell, and you get two sets for every um, new, even your sofa hide a bed. Nice. We'll get that. And you see right here, since you don't have storage up there, we do have ample storage right down here. Yes, sir. And that's just a bit of benefit of actually having the projection TV and still staying true to form. We maximize our space by opening these closets up right here and have a nice coat hanging rack or something like that. Um, a lot of people who might be full timers like to use to maximize this space. They can hang in space and different things. But one of the most impressive things about this coach is it is a mid entry and it's really hard on mid entries to get the bigger bathrooms. So now we have it figured out. If you look right here, this is a really, really good size bathroom as i turn the lights on right here and you go in there we got a double vanity almost a residential wow. style double vanity with a lot of space in between that same underlit agate countertop and i like that these sinks are not quite as deep as some of the other sinks we've seen and then a ton of countertop space a lot of countertop and space. you were telling me now this shower is the normally when you guys have a steam shower in the coach yes normally when it's in the back corner like this It'll be a steam shower a lot because we have to have the steam compressor and stuff. What this customer did, saw some different layouts, like the area where the steam shower was, realized they could maximize their space and have a nice little bench over the engine. And they could really maximize their shower space. And it don't have to be a steam shower, so they just did a regular uh, shower. Now, we have not installed all the shower heads yet because we'll do it once the customer gets in here so we have the right height and stuff. Yeah, and that's got to be, I mean, close to five feet deep. And this yeah. is, I just got to give everybody a close-up. You can barely see that drain there. Um, and then the little details, like they give you the little squeegee there so you don't get hard water spots on your glass. But beautiful stonework in this. But yeah, if you want to hold the camera yeah. real quick, I'm going to do, I mean, I can literally get in and out of this shower, do a full 360 without ever... Um, even bumping i have not even bumped into anything in this coach but just does it have a shower cutting right over there oh yeah 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 nice little spot here where you can store your you know shampoo or body wash without it falling out and then digital controls where you can set your temperature really awesome even what you guys you are doing right through there you would have the heated towel right oh there. yeah so that's um and then we're able to actually this is kind of unique too because we put the shower right there, we're able to have a towel um, or a linen closet right here. Yeah, I like this. This is a different bathroom than we've seen. A lot different, and we still do the same doors open right here, so ladies can stand right here and see the back of their hair and get ready. That's why we open up our uh, doors like this right here in our rear bath area. Now, what we have right here is a lot of people ask, when we do this shower like that, Andrew, how about the closet? And it does take a little bit of closet space, but not really all that much. You still have a really good sized closet with the additional closet space you have in a bedroom, you can really take advantage of that too. So um, we'll really maximize space in this bathroom and do a lot with it and it was really impressive.
There is an emergency egress uh, exit here. I think this is built if the coach were ever to tip over, tip over yes. you'd be able to escape through this exit Stick here. That. And then we got that from the marine industry, actually. Josh, <laughs> always an honor and a pleasure to hang out with you here and take a look at this beautiful new coach. Now, what uh, new coach number is this? This is coach 1749. If, if someone is in the market to either custom design a new new coach or purchase a pre-owned coach, uh, who should they get a hold of? Just call me here. My name is Josh Snyder. Give me a call at 918-542-3344. I'm at extension 201 or visit our website at www.newellcoach.com. Awesome, Josh. Greatly appreciate you and the team at Newell Coach. I also greatly appreciate all of you out there on YouTube subscribing to the channel and liking these videos. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Safe travels. Mm -hmm.